Hey, Jeff. Uh, so, uh, keyword research. Yeah, I think this is a great way to do it. Um, it's a really, I mean, this is one of the ways that I tell people to do keyword research. I mean, there's a lot of ways to do keyword research, but this is really the, you know, this is the right way to do it. And you can create so many different variations with tennis serve. So you have tennis serve, tennis fastest serve, on and on. So that long tail keyword phrase is definitely the right concept. So uh, anyway, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sort of try and critique what or and answer what questions you have. So I'm gonna play your video and I'm gonna record this simultaneously. So anyway, keyword research, good start. Uh, so anyway, yeah, in regards to the way you did this and questioning whether uh, this is the right way to do it or not, I, I think this is an awesome way to do it. Uh, you've got so much content, uh, you know, just keep following this strategy and I think you're going to, I think you're going to be fine. Um, I'm going to, uh, let's move to the next slide. Okay, on this one here. So the way to try and increase your uh, your ranking here uh, would be to start linking all your uh, your videos together, and I'm going to show you how to do it. This is an SEO tactic, so I would put links from one video to another down at the very bottom. Same thing I would do with the uh, linking a YouTube video to a blog. I would put that down at the very bottom. You want to move move your links uh, to sales pages up higher uh, because those are more visible. People are going to look at those top links more so than the other ones uh, that are further down on the page. But even still, even if they do click onto one of those uh, links that takes you to another video or to another blog, you still have them caught. And you have so many different um, conversion uh, tactics you're using, so many different ways of getting them to click something to uh, to buy something. Uh, anyway, so let's move on. Yeah, so in regards to your comment about trying to get the videos above the images, uh, that's something that you're not going to be able to control. That's something that Google's doing. Uh, but you know the one thing that you can do is like if you look at your video number three tennis serve lesson um, what you could do is any of the ones that you want to push up just link a few videos to a specific um, video that you really want to try and push up uh, to give that video more authority that's 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 what's going to help uh, one other comment about moving uh, your videos up higher would be to improve the content of ones that aren't ranking. Uh, I think you're doing a fine job with creating the content. Um, I mean, going back and redoing the content on 200 videos, what I might what suggest you do is go to your VA and have your VA just look and see what positions you need help with, and then let's target those particular search terms and figure out what's what the solution is for moving those videos higher up. Yeah, in regards to this one here, how to serve in tennis uh, and outranking this guy, I mean, I mean, you are number two, which is pretty darn good too. And it's not always the first position that's going to get the click. Uh, so maybe on this one, I had mentioned, you know, changing the title to tennis, how to serve tips. But Maybe you change that to how to serve like Federer or how to serve like Nadal, elbow the enemy drill. That might work pretty well. And, you know, if it's not ranking the way you want, just uh, maybe that content needs to be tweaked. But you can get your VA to, you know, as I mentioned earlier, get, get your VA to go through and figure out where, which ones you're ranking for and figure out where you're not ranking and let's address that. Okay, hey Jeff, so on this one, tennis forehand, the reason you're not ranking is likely because of the content, the way the content is written. Um, you know, we'd have to go back and look at each individual video, but my guess is that tennis forehand uh, is 
that you're probably not using the content the right way or maybe you've overused the keyword phrase tennis forehand in the content you know like you've spammed it a little bit you know by stuffing the keyword in there too much so um, uh, I would uh, I would maybe take a look at your tennis forehand videos and maybe take a look at having those a couple of those rewritten and change the change the content for the most important ones and uh, work it that way and then start creating a couple links like so maybe you take three or four tennis forehand videos have the content rewritten you know maybe it's 200 words maybe it, you know make it a little bit longer maybe it's two to 250 words <coughs> excuse me and um, and then repost the content and then create a couple links you know, if need be, we can always, uh, you know, post this over on Google Plus, create a link back to the video. That'll really help. Uh, yeah, so in regards to uh, Google Ads, uh, which you mentioned, um, I am in the process of getting certified as a Google partner, which uh, means I'll be featured on the Google site as a, uh, a pay-per-click specialist. But um, one of the guys that works with me, uh, has been doing pay-per-click for a long time so we're pretty we're pretty uh, advanced on Google pay-per-click if you need some help on that we, we, we can run campaigns um, it's pretty tricky and uh, it's, you know it's, a, it's like another business yeah in regards to this video uh, where you mentioned you know tennis how to serve tips um, you, you might uh, you know certainly seems to be a little little sexier if you put you know how tennis how to serve like Nadal or Federer you know you, you know you don't have to put the word tips um, that's not critical um, but you know somebody gonna type in tennis how to serve tips I could see somebody typing in how to serve like Nadal or or Federer um, and uh, you know that would be a very enticing topic to uh, to want to click that I'd want to know that uh, yeah I get your point on the subscription thing um, so just leave that alone uh, leave the uh, I, I see your point about trying to keep people focused on you know clicking here to buy something uh, that's a great idea and uh, uh, so leave the subscription part out so the answer on this one here on your YouTube description is uh, is it worth it to rewrite it if it's already good I, you know the answer is no um, what I would do here let me pause this for one second because I think you're gonna scroll down here hold on a sec yeah Jeff on this one here um, you know tennis how to serve tips or how to serve and you know, I'm just thinking make a uh, a little bit more of a long tail out of that be a little bit more specific uh, because you want to get the benefit of tennis uh, a result when somebody does a search for tennis how to serve uh, how to serve like someone else like Federer and then definitely I think if you take that tennis serve drill and just turn it into elbow the enemy drill I think that's going to be fine you want to just be careful of you know trying to overstuff those keywords yeah and this one here Jeff uh, definitely I mean great idea I mean uh, go with what Google suggests. That's definitely the way to do it. So uh, on this one here, you're asking what to do about um, uh, these links. What I would do is I would say check out more free tennis tips at and and uh, put that move that up here further. Make this area down here like an information section. Just say you know for you know for additional videos click you know or view our additional serve videos and just put a list of links down below so that's sort of like separate you know you can put like a uh, you know just make the the word uh, the category in in all caps and put them sort of like in their own little space down at the very bottom and just make sure that you move this particular link that you know the check out the more free sentence to serve tips put it up above somewhere so that it's uh, you know the consumer can see it uh, the best way to tell the VA which links to create uh, is to take 
good ranking serve videos and create links to the ones that aren't ranking as well that you need to boost that will help and the ones that aren't ranking as well you know let's you know pick a couple that aren't ranking well and have those descriptions rewritten then go back and have your VA create a link uh, on your your better videos to your other relevant videos that you want to get better positioned yeah I think your video your uh, your blogs uh, because I'm seeing that you've got a lot of duplicate content on the blog so those aren't going to rank I mean it's great if somebody if you can get somebody here some other way because it's good information to read and uh, you know it's laid out very well but if you want it if you want it to perform you're gonna have to uh, have that content rewritten so what you can do is you can easily have the writer just go right to each particular blog and have it rewritten I wouldn't start out and do rewrite content for 200 videos or 200 blogs I would just start out with you know start out with five and you know get your systems down see, see how well these how, how well they perform once you made the the edits yeah so anyway uh, um, again you, your question was uh, what do you suggest should we redo the YouTube video descriptions I would start out with which ones aren't performing as well as they could and adjust the content from there you know I would do it in order of uh, you know importance what's what's performing leave it alone what's not performing work on that specifically and it sounds to me like you can get your VA to do that do a lot of that research yeah on this one return of uh, return of serve tennis I understand what you're doing here and one backhand return of serve yeah I okay I see what you're saying there that makes sense to me now uh, yeah this one here uh, attention all rec tennis players I mean you've already gotten it written it probably wouldn't take much effort to you know find the right keyword phrase and get some get some juice out of that one so uh, you know that's one that you might want to put on your list of to do's uh, the video cut off so I missed the last part there um, so you were starting to say if we do this and then it then it clicked out but anyway um, you know I guess I guess the the main thing right now would be to um, because you just have so much content I would start with serves and I would have your VA do searches for those specific keyword phrases that uh, that you've got in your spreadsheet and see where you're ranking and where you're not so the ones that you're not find out you know which uh, go go back to each particular video and uh, redo that particular content I, I don't want to see you have to do everything it's it's a lot of work anyway I hope this helps for now uh, but uh, you know I think be very selective and I would just get started and get the systems going and uh, then go from there you know I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't try and you know eat the entire elephant right at first you know find you know find specific spots first try and just fill in the blanks of where you're not ranking first